Hockey State government has built and handed over a bungalow to the mother of the late Dr. Victor Onimisi Ahmed in fulfillment of an earlier promise to her in recognition of the sacrifices made by her deceased son. Dr. Victor Onimisi Ahmed died after contracting Lassa fever at the Federal Medical Center, Lokoja, the state's capital. The state government handed over ownership documents and a bunch of keys to the house uh, to the mother of the deceased in Adavi local government area of Kogi Central. Tears of joy flew down the cheeks of the mother of the late Dr. Victor Ahmed as she acknowledged with happiness the gesture by the Kogi state government. She particularly thanked God for using Governor Yaya Bilo, who through his deputy, Edward Onoja, came to fulfill the promise her little son made to her, building a befitting residential apartment for her. The mother also commended the governor and his entire cabinet for their show of love for her and the family since the death of their son, Dr. Victor Ahmed. The late Victor's brother and relatives also appreciated the governor and commended the government for upgrading the hospital in their local government area into a federal medical center with modern facilities to tackle infectious diseases. So last year when I finished my service, I was thinking, uh, when will I get a job and uh, build a, a house for my mom? Because I knew where he was staying was not comfortable for her. But God has used His Excellency to fulfill this dream in a short period of time. One of the reasons why we lost him was there's no lab in Kogi State to uh, run a test on Lassa fever. So we have to transport his blood sample to Irua in a dose state before the test could be conducted. But today, as we are speaking, the lab is available in Lukoja here. The test could be carried out within the short period of time. And we really appreciate him for that, for saving life. Indeed, Kogi State is in a safe hand. One of the wish he had then was to build a house for him as soon as he finished his house job. And barely three weeks later, he passed on. Today we are here dedicating that house, um, courtesy of the Kogi State government through the deputy governor, and we truly appreciate him. The former state chairman of the Nigerian Medical Association, NME, and other staff of the Federal Medical Center were full of praises to the state government for the kind gesture. I want to appreciate His Excellency for this kind gesture. We pray that uh, he will continue to move to greater height. The care management and staff of FMC Lokoja are happy over this project and they pray that God will continue to uphold him. His Royal Majesty, the Ohoi of Ibrahim, Ado Ibrahim, represented by his son, Prince Azad, urged the government at all levels and philanthropic individuals in the society to always assist in meeting the needs of others. I've had a tour myself of the property and it's absolutely amazing. Um, very grateful that we still have people in Nigeria and Kogi State that will go out of their way to try their best to make the lives of others easier. The State Commissioner for Health, Dr. Saka Aruna, who equally stood in for the Deputy Governor, said the Yaya Bilu administration remains committed to the welfare of health workers in the state. I present the keys and the documents of this beautiful house to our mother, the mother of our hero, late Dr. Ito Victor Ahmed. To the glory of Almighty God and to the benefit of the family of our deceased brother. So help me God. Indeed, I want to call on our health workers to continue to give their best. That both the government and the people of Kogi State truly appreciate and recognize their contribution to human to humanity. So I call on them never to give up never to be disappointed that this government will continue to support. I also want to make this categorical remark that this will never happen in Kogi State again. We now have a dedicated laboratory, a molecular lab, we have Lassa Fever Treatment Center, and we have Center for Infectious Diseases. Also, two uh, centers to uh, infectious disease hospital are under construction. One in Ajakuta and one in Kogi local government area. With this, this will never happen in this state again. 
the health commissioner said governor yabilu had instructed that 10 members of the family of the late dr victor ahmed be enrolled under the state insurance scheme called beluke also at the events where the commissioner for women affairs and other top government functionaries dr victor onimisi ahmed a staff of the federal medical center lokoja died after contracting lassa fever in the course of his duty Ridwan Ogbara, reporting for Clearview Television.